All right then. Hello everyone. My name is Matt or Matthew. I really don't mind. And welcome back to Altus Dovic 1946 with the SAS Ultra Pack mod. As you see, I'm on the main title screen. I am ready to uh, carry on with the next leg of a campaign. Now, of course, I have uh, I am due to go back to my Leningrad campaign, as you see here. But as I said in my previous video, because good old um, Hans Groberman, the burst burster. Uh, had his burst bursted and uh, needs to uh, take some time off to uh, get himself patched up again so he can go back to burst the bursts uh, of the of the Soviets in our, as part of Army Group South uh, we didn't spend very long in that ca in that campaign so I'm going to continue on until I re reach a suitable point in which I believe I've got enough content for my German campaign and then go back to the Leningrad campaign so we're going to load this up now, and uh, you'll be able to see what's going on. All right, then here we are. Hmm. So we've got some new people being promoted. We've got some new people joining. Uh, somebody was awarded the Iron Cross uh, during engagements whilst we were injured. And yeah, we have returned to active service. Now here is the monologue. The Eleventh Army of Here's Gruppe Sud, uh, really that's the German army, here is the name of the German army, had taken all of the Crimean Peninsula except the port city and fortress of Sevastopol last November. However, in December and January, while the bulk of Luftwaffe IV was fighting the Soviet counter-offensive at uh, Rostov, that's up there, uh, the Black Sea Fleet undertook amphibious landings at Kurtz, uh, Eupatoria and Feodosia, so that's here, and uh, where's the other one? Uh, there's obviously Kerch, and then somewhere else. Is that over here? No. So just generally the Kerch Peninsula. This forced General Oberst von Manstein to cancel the assault on Sevastopol, so he originally planned to have to uh, break the siege and then directly seize it, but of course with this counterattack our, our priorities have been shifted. While the landings at Eupatoria and Ferdosia were quickly wiped out by makeshift battle groups formed out of rear, uh, air, rear units, the Kerch bridgehead could not be contained. The Soviets now again control most, most of the Kerch Peninsula and are preparing for an offensive with at least army strength in order to retake the rest of the Crimean Peninsula. Also, Sevastopol remains a thorn in our side of the German forces on the Crimea. After the fighting around Rostov quieted down, Luftwaffe IV was shifted back to the Crimea in order to support the fight against both Kerch and Sevastopol. Its main tasks are the regaining of air superiority, the interdiction of supply ships, and direct support for the 11th Army under von Manstein. Right, so we've been injured for quite some time. I believe we were injured in November, was it? And it is now May of 1942. So plenty of stuff has been happening. So. Uh, we obviously, we've closed the area around Sevastopol a bit, taking out the ink here and here. And uh, yes, but it's been holding out after all this time. It's a very resilient city, almost uh, reminiscent of Leningrad. Because Leningrad is still yet to be taken by Army Group North. Uh, also, we've taken over the rest of the Crimea, but they've launched a counter-offensive and retaken the Kerch Peninsula. Uh, we've stopped their counter offensive for now and we're ready to now to start our own offensive to take it back. What have we got here? We've got a big flight group for today's mission. And what is today's mission? Excuse me. A destination today is Villino. Vill Villino. There, this little town here. The Soviets are attempting to block our airfields. We must prevent them. So it looks like uh, I've been uh, taken because I was injured, I was not based in Simferopol anymore. I'm back where we started our offensive in the Crimea, back of this uh, grassy airstrip. I imagine we'll be transferred back over here eventually. And uh, yeah, it looks like there is an airfield here that we have taken. There's another one over here, and of course we have the aerodrome at Simferopol. But uh, the Russians are trying to uh, attack our airfields right next to Sevastopol, so we need to stop them. Uh, we've got some new chaps, I believe. Not very many of us in the squadron. So you're not, we, we've lost a lot of people, you see. Uh, 
we've, we've lost uh, our O-Burst Leutnants. Uh, we've lost, we didn't have an O-Burst, I don't believe. Uh, we've lost a fair amount of Majors, a fair amount of Hauptmanns, I believe they're Captains. But uh, we've got plenty of uh, Leutnants, of course we are one as well. So yeah, we have 9 kills so far in our career. We're up there with some of the best. Uh, some of these were transferred over. This guy looks particularly good. He's also from Konigsberg. How about that? Of course, I, I can't get the uh, simply the proper O in on a standard uh, English keyboard. But yeah, he's a, a fellow townsman. He's got. Uh, we've got these two medals. We've got the pin, uh, first class Iron Cross, and we've got the standard medal, second class Iron Cross. And he's also got the German Cross in gold. Very high honour that is. So yeah. We'll be going in. I believe we have the same aircraft as before, F4s, and uh, with a fourth in line in the squadron. So yeah, I'll, uh, let's uh, get started. All right, then I'm back. Unfortunately, we were intercepted on our way to our airfield by a set of yaks, and I've been fired upon. Not, I'm going very slow. Oh, they're targeting me. Okay, now they've broken off. Don't want to get injured straight away after I've just come back into service. I believe if that is the case, if that will happen, this mission I'll just do a brief fly it, so I'm not going to end this, the leg early again. So yeah, we've got some yaks. Slightly more uh, dangerous opponent for us 109s. Again, yaks are sort of an equivalent to the Spitfire. Uh, so they tend to stay fairly low. They're not really, they're not great at altitudes. Right, so we do. We go very fast. Better calm down here. Hope no one's on my tail. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my God. I'm going to overshoot. I'm afraid so. Now they always do that. They always freaking slow down to make us overshoot because obviously they know they know our tactics. Oh shit. Help me. Oh god. Oh god. I'm exposing my canopy to him. Come on, speed the fuck up, man. I don't control my supercharger. Oh dear, he's up my tail. Gotta go down low. Go on, dive, boy. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, he's hit my engine, so I'm not going to be taking part in this mission. But don't worry, I'll just uh, do another one in this video. Come on, fucking help. Oh my god, he's so close. See, yeah, Yaks, definitely more dangerous. And the Russians are incredibly defensive, very aggressive. Sevastopol is going to be a very difficult target for us to take. Come on, somebody fucking help me. I can't bloody see where I'm going. I can't open the canopy because of the SAS mod. Normally you should be able to. Is he gonna is he gonna piss off now? He left me alone. I can't see a bloody thing. Can I make it back to the airfield in time before my engine conks out and I lose too much power? Yep, looks like I might be able to. No, oh, well that's not very dis. Oh, that looks like very crash landed or there. So yeah, disappointing start to this campaign. Can't see a pissing thing. Right. Ah. Smoke's getting worse. I don't know. As long as it's not on fire, my pilot's okay. Why not? Oh god, we've got to get out. We've got to get out. Fire, fire, get a pull up, give yourself a little extra room to manoeuvre. Please parachute don't hit the plane. Oh dear. So yeah. A sad end to this mission. So yeah. Oh, well at least we accomplished the mission. But what about all these here? Oh, they're landing. So, oh dear, there he goes. There goes the plane. Oof. So there goes, there goes our plane. Not a great start. Wasting even more money, more right marks. 
So it looks like the rest of our squadron, I believe, as well as our squadron, I believe there's another fighter squadron as well of a different type of uh, a different type of uh, thingy. We're in the rear units now. I think based upon what 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 the, which uh, which part of the squadron, I mean, um, I'm in the Jagshvard uh, uh, group one, which is a fighter group. Uh, yeah, which is a fighter group, uh, I believe. Was I in Stab, which is headquarters? It's like, uh, or was I was I in number three? I can't remember. But yeah, here we go, nice and daintily down. There's our shadow there. Hopefully, you can see that just below the map. Oh dear, uh, it's that pilot's not injured, but uh, he's probably a bit sick and tired of getting shot down. Ready and oh, oh get your legs ready. Oh, well. Yeah, the parachutes in World War Two were designed to drop you straight down. That's why they tend to get themselves injured. Right then, there we go. You dive there, but look, luckily we're in plenty of friendly territory. So uh, the best thing we can do now is just try and not show our face to our squad mates. To not show our face to our squad mates, who will probably laugh at us for uh, flipping, getting shot down by a yak. You know, which is slower than a BF-109 and not as heavily doesn't have very powerful guns so yeah disappointment let's just oh no not that one not that one not that one oh, what's this oh it's a BF-110 used as a spot of blow is that in there I think that's him here this chap is gonna come over and have a look or well, maybe not who else is left another, there's another group oh these might be our bombers to help they're probably gonna go after this airfield aren't they they sometimes use BF-110s as bombers here is my flight group. I was number four, so that's why we're it's missing. What about the Oh, that's the flyby camera. I need to do this one. Oh, no, not that one. Enemy planes. What have we got here? That's a um, there. What is it? They've got some oh, it's a yak. So here's a yak. There's an IL-2. Uh landing. There's another yak. There's another yak. These yaks are all coming into land. Here's a a, a, a badly bruised Sturmovic. There's another one. Looks like they were attacking that airfield. That seems to be all of them. So yeah, looks like we're not going to be. Looks like they'll just simply be. Uh, oh dear. Bit of a, 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 a lag spike there. But anyway, it's not going to stop cheating. We can't. I can't sport. I can't go back to uh, my uh, my plane because obviously my plane. Right. So. No reason to a duel any longer. We're likely going to go to our airfield and then just come straight back again because there are fighters to engage. So, all right, then we'll see you in the debrief. Oh dear! It seems the game wasn't particularly happy about me, and it wants me to do the mission again. You see here, our intelligence reports that famous Russian ace uh, Dudar was killed. He was probably the one that shot me down. You survived and can fight another day. Uh, so yeah. Looks like I'm going to have to do this mission again anyway. Let's hopefully not try to cock it up. <laughs> Alright then, I'm back. Uh, my autopilot spazzed out a bit, so I've lost where the yaks are. There's one. Oh, is he co he's coming after me. Alright, come here, you little shit. Oh dear. I'm losing too much speed. I'm going to make myself vulnerable again. Right, where'd he go? There he is. Oh no, we've lost somebody. So one of these is an ace. Right, I'm going to help out my chap. Hopefully he's no one's on my tail. He's like he's trying to go after me. But uh, I won't have any of that bullshit again. Piss off. I believe. Is he the leader? Oh god, we blacked out almost. Come here. Yeah, he's the ace. Uh oh, he's coming on my tail. I've got to. Piss. Uh oh, he's got me in my. He's got. I'm in his sights. Oh no, he's gonna hit me. Can he help me out? Oh Ooh, dear. Quick, help me. This is what I hate about the aces in this game, they always go after you because you're the human player. Quick, speed the fuck up. What is this plane doing? 
leave me alone. Go and help me out. I'm luring you over. I'm luring him over there. Really hope I have to do this mission again. Or perhaps uh, when I, if I do have to uh, bail out for whatever reason, uh, he will. Uh, this is probably a bad move. Uh, oh. oh god, this is so hard annoying. It's very hard to uh, to escape bullets. Oh. oh, bloody Nora. See, I'm not very good on the defensive. I'm great at being a fighter pilot. Oh, quick build up some fucking speed. Why is he going so fucking slow? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Leave me alone, please. Go after somebody else. Oh, finally. Right there. Yeah. yeah, what are you gonna say now, you bloody you bloody Russian? Alright then. Uh, did we take out his friend? Is he on his own now? No, but his friend's his friend is uh, being is uh, held up. Where did he go? Is he down low? Really not going very fast. There he is. Pardon? Oh dear! Pardon me. <laughs> right, come here, you little bastard. Oh dear! I missed him. He's gonna. I'm gonna get on his pissing sights again aren't I with that manoeuvre losing speed again doing everything pretty much everything right you know I'm zooming in and then gaining altitude again oh no who was that oh it was him well we forced him into the ground no one he seemed to have got the kill but anyway but that ace is down so, and that other one is down, and I'm still alive. I believe I only have minimal damage. So, yeah, no no uh, major damage enough to knock me out of the mission. So, yeah, now we can actually progress on this time. Lovely. So, uh, you'll rejoin me for when there's more action. Well, that was rather annoying. It seems my autopilot suddenly randomly decided to take me out into the Black Sea and then suddenly started spazzing out, doing some erratic maneuvers and then caused me to f go into a nosedive for which I was going too fast to pull out of manually. So, looks once again, I'm going to have to attempt this mission. In fact, no, uh, you won't see it. I'll off-screen this mission because you've seen it enough. So you'll rejoin me for when I eventually <laughs> reach another mission. Alright then. So yeah, I off-screened this mission. <clears throat> took me, I got shut down once more, I believe. But then finally, I managed to survive. So yeah, unfortunately, in this attempt, uh, we, um, we uh, lost two of our chaps. Lost two chaps. But, uh, and a couple of guys, and we took down, the only targets we took down were those yaks. Uh, yes. But uh, that Russian ace, which is one of those yaks, has been captured. So it's interesting what information we can learn from him, and also it's a, a big propaganda hit to the Russians. But So yeah, we carried on. They thought about chasing us, but then uh, I just carried on anyway. We went, tried strafing the ground, tried attacking some uh, a Sturmovic and a yak that was coming into land that hadn't spotted us, but... Uh, didn't want to do for too long. The two guys who, who I was with uh, got shot down over the airfields when I disengaged. Then I decided, you know, I don't really want to have to wait going all the way back there, so I just decided to divert and uh, land here. So anyway, let's fly this and move on to the next mission at last. <laughs> what is the next mission? Right. So this chap was awarded the second class Iron Cross. We've got this uh, this sergeant promoted to lieutenant, and we've got a new major and a new chap. It's now the next day. Weather's okay. Our staffle has been allocated the Yevatoria zone. Today we will protect our airfields. 
if the Russians attack, hit their leaders. All right, so it's similar to what we were doing at the start of the 1941 leg, where we were based here at this grassy strip in the north, helping out, and generally, because of, we're generally uh, trying to siege them, that means they're able to still get their... We've got their, the Black Sea Fleet's planes, and then their army planes in Sevastopol still harassing our airfields in this area. So it's an air superiority mission, I believe. They may have some bombers on the way. Uh, I'm not too sure. So, yeah, another big flight group. So let's uh, get on in. All right, I'm back, and we've just intercepted some fighters. We've got some MiGs up high. Uh, I believe there's a bomber squad. Oh dear. We've got a bomber squadron coming up as well. These ones are coming right at me. So what about the ones behind? They lay on my tail. Oh, I'm not concentrating really. Right then, how fast am I going? Fast enough. Right then, oh, we've got one here. Let's go on his tail. So yeah, MiGs, sort of the equivalent of the 109 at this point in the war. Uh, obviously, I think they're slightly, they're quite heavy ended, so they're not quite as maneuverable, I don't believe. I don't think their supercharger is as effective either. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. But yeah, mix. Where is... Where is... Nah, go over here. Come on, I ain't gonna hurt... Well, I am gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you really bad. Come here. Right, well, I'm gaining on him. This is baiting me. Hit him. Got his. Got him. He's gonna. He'd probably bail out. They normally bail out because otherwise. Is he gonna bail out? Let's just watch for the shoot. Whilst I'm not being engaged, he's going down. Yep, there's a kill for me. Got friendly axe. Friendly axe. Oh, what? Oh, we've Ah, oh, it's the same guy. Right. Oh, our guys are engaging him over there. Anybody else left? Oh, but there's some bombers coming in, we've heard from our reconnaissance reports. Right. Right. Number six. Where's number six? He's probably, they're probably all over there, aren't they? Should we really be focusing on those bombers that are coming in? I can't see them yet. Right. What's over here? Hey, there you go, he finally hit the water, probably. Oh, behind, they, they took him out. Oh, we've got some more coming in. Massive air, massive air assaults here. I doubt, we, 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 there's eight of us, there's eight 109s, but we also took off with a, a couple of squadrons of 110s, BF 110s, behind us. Right, we've got some I-16s here. We've got plenty of those to spare, those annoying little bastards. Right, is anybody else? Oh, they might be using them for ground attack. Because now that they've got the yaks and stuff, these are all reserve fighters, or they repurpose them as ground attack aircraft. So I'm going to go after this little straggler on the end. Coming in too fast, of course. Going to say hello. I'm going to swoop around. Not pulling too high a G turn. But don't want to lose too much speed in my turn. Hopefully, no one's on my tail. Didn't see anybody on my tail. Got some biplanes as well. They're probably being, probably got bombs fitted to them. Oh, these ones are close. Let's go after these. Although there's a pair of them, so I'm a bit scared. Right, he's broken off. I'm gonna go after this one. No, he's turning. Oh, with him. With him. Right, we'll pull out of the dive. And is he on my tail? I don't think so. I'm quite low. Lower than I'd like. Oh, I'm being engaged. Hello. So, oh, it's a bi fucking biplane. If I get shot down by one of these, that's going to be very embarrassing. Because they are not very fast. Oh, I'm still being targeted. 
Oh, I was going to make a pass on these and all. Oh! Time to go. Time to go. Quick, go. Jump the fuck out. Oh. Yeah, I suddenly felt my control services deteriorate there. there was, I was pulled. I wouldn't. Oh, God. Yeah. So, yeah, pro probably could have, probably could have carried on, but I felt my, uh, yeah, I felt my control set. Oh, I'm gonna hit the beach. Oof. Hope the room was down there. What are these port? Are these jetties? Are these docks? Or are they just bits, bits of wood? So, yeah, probably was a bit too cautious there. I probably could have kept going, but I just had no way of knowing. Because you saw, you saw the holes in my wings. There's no way in. in you know, being a, a high-speed boom and zoom fighter, I would have stalled in all of my turns. And uh, Field 49 is a bit of a hassle to get out of a spin. And of course, this, we are f massively outnumbered, I believe. So yeah, I'm quite embarrassed. I believe that was an, an I-153 that shot me down the biplanes. So uh, very embarrassed. Uh, once again. <laughs> I believe I was I shot down by one of those before. I was shot down by an I-16. That caused me to miss out the rest of 1941. But am I going to am I am I going to drift onto the beach? Nope. Seems I'm going to land just off the beach next to the docks. Hopefully a, a lifeboat can come and find me. Hopefully no plane's going to run into me, into my parachute, and uh, and otherwise I'll have a, a very bad day. <laughs> Right, so what's going on with the map? Oh no, we are massively outnumbered. Where do those 110s go? Have they all been shot down? Well, we got one kill, and we may have hurt another. We may have hurt another one. He looks like he's retreating because he's because he's hurt. Him as well. He, he's disengaging. Oh, they've got one. Now, where else? Where, where is the fighting? Is it all up there? Oh, hello. Somebody's smoking. We've got the AAA we've got the A triple A batteries helping us out too. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be landing just outside, gonna pick up our sploosh. I think we do have a life jacket with us anyway. Gonna be a nice big well it won't go show up as a sploosh. And Oh. Well, apparently I'm Jesus now. Probably because it's quite shallow, I suppose. Uh so yeah, don't worry, we would be floating, we have a life jacket, or a raft, or something like the, the Americans did. And, uh, yes. Or we'd probably just, uh, swim back to shore, we're not that far out. It'd be pretty deep, but we'll just swim back to the pier, or wait for a lifeguard to come and pick us up, or a patrol boat. So, let's, uh, let's just have a look, I can't quite end the mission there, because the engagement's not over. There's our leader, is he pissed off? Uh, there's. Oh, this is my flight. Where are they? Have they gone home? They bugged out. Is that. The... No. That's not them either. The main... They're inland. Is that them? Yeah, it is. What are they doing? Are they just in get. Are they out of that? Oh dear. This one's a bit hurt. This one's. Oh wow, nice shot. Look at that thing going on. Yeah, we have a bail out of that. It's probably passed out from those. Oh, yeah, he did. Passed out from the G's. It's probably. Oh, his parachute slowed down. Oh, this one's crash landing. Don't fucking crash land into the shore. Oh, he's lost his tail wheels. He's going he's gonna to stall out. He's stalling. He cocked that up. He should have ditched it in the water. Oh, he ain't going to survive that. Oh, bloody idiot. Why didn't you ditch it in the water? It's a lot easier to... Well, you can just... Your bank can still fall apart just as easily as hitting water, because hitting water, depending on the force, is just as hard as hitting concrete. But it's... Generally, if you do everything right, it's nice belly landing. Uh, it is a... Okay, they're going after my squadron, who's bugging right. These one... These 110s are going after... Still protecting this town, this uh, city. I suppose it's a city. Whoa. Getting some, laying in some fire there. 
they've probably got some heavier armament. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, they got him. Oh, don't run into him. Oh god, what a fucking idiot! Quick, get out, get out. There goes one. There goes the other. Did they get their shoots open? Oh no, no, not that one. No the enemies. Oh, one guy's lost his engine. Yeah, they're safe. Who's that guy who lost his engine? Oh, it's number five. Oh, he's going to try a, uh, a belly landing. They don't. You don't use. You don't use your. You don't use your gear for a, a crash landing because it's. Um, uh, it's a, a difficult, I suppose. Don't turn at the last minute. All right, here he goes. Will he do it? There we go. Should be okay. And touchdown. Oof. Oh, bit of a bounce there on the hill, but oh dear. So we could probably be repair. We could probably uh, pick up this plane, give it a new propeller, probably give it a new engine as well. But uh, yeah, he saved it. Generally, if you try crash landing, emergency landing in a field somewhere with your gear, because of the bumpy terrain, you tend to bounce up and off your gear, and then you'll think you'd smack your nose off the ground or knock your tail off. So that's probably why he did that. Here, that must be him here. We've got those coming after. In fact, let's fast forward. Oh, he's alive. Yeah. Oh, he bailed out. Doof. Did they survive? Yeah, they did. So they got shot down somehow. I'm not sure how. Here he comes in to land. So, yeah, I'm not going to dawdle any longer. It looks like my squadron has made it back in one piece. They'll probably get torn up by the flak. In fact, can we have a look? Yes, we've got some I-16s. That one's limping back to base. That one's going back, probably expel all its ammunition. So, yeah, I could probably say to uh, end this mission. Alright then, here we go. So, yeah, took some very heavy losses here. We were vastly outnumbered. First, we got to, we had to deal with the MiGs at high altitude, and then they brought, and then we had to be brought down and baited in by uh, to take on the I 16s at low altitude and also the I 153s. So, yeah, we managed to kill most of them, and not many of them went away, but at tremendous cost at our own plane, of our own squadron. So, we got a kill, we killed, we just, we hit a MiG, set it on fire. Uh, this new guy got three kills, well done. Uh, an Oberleutnant got three kills, but unfortunately he died. Same thing for our other Oberleutnant. We got, uh, he got a kill, but we lost him as well. So, it's a terrible shame. When outnumbered, it is sometimes better to escape and fight another day pilot. And yes, that is true. It's also sometimes better to escape when there's a, a million flat guns over Sevastopol and we've been sent to try and hit them and without any escort. So, yeah, we lost 11 planes, very heavy losses. That includes the one BF-110s as well. But the enemy lost 12 planes. I believe we killed all of the MiGs. Uh, we killed most of the I-1... Two of the I-153s were left and two of the I-16s were left. So we've got another plane to add to our kill roster getting up there amongst uh, some of the best the most deadliest in our squadron and yeah I'm going to call the video here thank you very much for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed it sure to like comment favorite and subscribe all that stuff I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next episode goodbye <laughs>